Greetings, friends, and happy winter festival to you. My name is Max, and this is my friend Moonbow. And I would like to read to you from Ty's book, Love Letter to the Earth. In this book, there are a number of texts, including a series of letters that he's written to the earth. This is the first one. It's entitled, Beloved Mother of All Things. Dear Mother, I bow my head before you as I look deeply and recognize that you are present in me and that I'm a part of you. I was born from you and you are always present offering me everything I need for my nourishment and growth. My mother, my father, and all my ancestors are also your children. We breathe your fresh air. We drink your clear water. We eat your nourishing food. Your herbs heal us when we're sick. You are the mother of all beings. I call you by the human name mother, and yet I know your mothering nature is more vast and ancient than humankind. We are just one young species of your many children. All the millions of other species who live or have lived on earth are also your children. You aren't a person, but I know you are not less than a person either. You are a living, breathing being in the form of a planet. Each species has its own language, yet as our mother, you can understand us all. That is why you can hear me today as I open my heart to you and offer you my prayer. Dear Mother, wherever there is soil, water, rock, or air, you are there, nourishing me and giving me life. You are present in every cell of my body. My physical body is your physical body. And just as the sun and stars are present in you, they are also present in me. You are not outside of me, and I am not outside of you. You are more than just my environment. You are nothing less than myself. I promise to keep the awareness alive that you are always in me and I am always in you. I promise to be aware that your health and well-being is my own health and well-being. I know I need to keep this awareness alive in me for both of us to be peaceful, happy, healthy, and strong. Sometimes I forget. Lost in the confusions and worries of daily life, I forget that my body is your body and sometimes even forget that I have a body at all. Unaware of the presence of my body and the beautiful planet around me and within me, I'm unable to cherish and celebrate the precious gift of life you have given me. I promise to train myself to be present for myself, my life, and for you in every moment. I know that my true presence is the best gift I can offer to you, the one I love.
This is the second love letter to the earth from our teacher. This is entitled, Your Wonder, Beauty and Creativity. Dear Mother Earth, each morning when I wake up, you offer me 24 brand new hours to cherish and enjoy your beauty. You gave birth to every miraculous form of life. Your children include the clear lake, the green pine, the pink cloud, the snow-capped mountaintop, the fragrant forest, the white crane, the golden deer, the extraordinary caterpillar, and every brilliant mathematician, skilled artisan, and gifted architect. You are the greatest mathematician, the most accomplished artisan, and the most talented architect of all. The simple branch of cherry blossoms, the shell of a snail, and the wing of a bat all bear witness to this amazing truth. My deep wish is to live in such a way that I am awake to each of your wonders and nourished by your beauty. I cherish your precious creativity and I smile to this gift of life. We humans have talented artists, but how can our paintings compare to your masterpiece of the four seasons? How could we ever paint such a compelling dawn or create a more radiant dusk? We have great composers, but how can our music compare to your celestial harmony with the sun and the planets or to the sound of the rising tide. We have great heroes and heroines who have endured wars, hardships, and dangerous voyages. But how can their bravery compare to your great forbearance and patience? along your hazardous journey of eons. We have many great love stories, but who among us has love as immense as your own, embracing all beings without discrimination? Dear Mother, you have given birth to countless Buddhas, saints, and enlightened beings. Shakyamuni Buddha is a child of yours. Jesus Christ is the son of God, and yet he is also the son of man, a child of the earth, your child. Mary is also a daughter of the earth. The prophet Muhammad is also your child. Moses is your child. So too are all the bodhisattvas. You are also mother to eminent thinkers and scientists who have made great discoveries, investigating and understanding not only our own solar system and Milky Way, but even the most distant galaxies. It's through these talented children that you are deepening your communication with the cosmos. Knowing that you have given birth to so many great beings, I know that you aren't mere inert matter, but living spirit. It's because you're endowed with the capacity of awakening that all your children are too. Each one of us carries within ourselves the seed of awakening 
the ability to live in harmony with our deepest wisdom, the wisdom of interbeing. But there are times when we have not done so well. There are times when we have not loved you enough, times when we have forgotten your true nature, and times when we have discriminated and treated you as something other than ourself. There have even been times when, through ignorance and unskillfulness, we have underestimated, exploited, wounded, and polluted you. That is why I make the deep vow today, with gratitude and love in my heart, to cherish and protect your beauty, and to embody your wondrous consciousness in my own life. I vow to follow in the footsteps of those who have gone before me, to live with awakening and compassion, and to be worthy of calling myself your child. This is the third love letter to the earth, written by Tai. Walking tenderly on Mother Earth. Dear Mother Earth, every time I step upon the earth, I will train myself to see that I am walking on you, my mother. Every time I place my feet on the earth, I have a chance to be in touch with you and with all your wonders. With every step, I can touch the fact that you aren't just beneath me, mother, but you are also within me. Each mindful and gentle step can nourish me. Heal me and bring me into contact with myself and with you in the present moment. Walking in mindfulness, I can express my love, respect, and care for you, our precious earth. I will touch the truth that mind and body are not two separate entities. I will train myself to look deeply, to see your true nature. You are my loving mother, a living being, a great being, an immense, beautiful, and precious wonder. You are not only matter, you are also mind, you are also consciousness. Just as the beautiful pine or tender grain of corn possess an innate sense of knowing, so too do you. Within you, dear Mother Earth, there are the elements of earth, water, air, and fire. And there is also time, space, and consciousness. Our nature is your nature, which is also the nature of the cosmos. I want to walk gently with steps of love and with great respect. I shall walk with my own body and mind united in oneness. I know I can walk in such a way that every step is a pleasure. 
Every step is nourishing and every step is healing. Not only for my body and mind, but also for you, dear mother. You are the most beautiful planet in our entire solar system. I do not want to run away from you, dear mother, nor to hurry. I know I can find happiness right here with you. I do not need to rush to find more conditions for happiness in the future. At every step I can take refuge in you. At every step I can enjoy your beauties, your delicate veil of atmosphere and the miracle of gravity. I can stop my thinking. I can walk relaxingly and effortlessly. Walking in this spirit, I can experience awakening. I can awaken to the fact that I am alive and that life is a precious miracle. I can awaken to the fact that I am never alone and can never die. You are always there within me and around me at every step, nourishing me, embracing me, and carrying me far into the future. Dear Mother, you wish that we live with more awareness and gratitude, and we can do this by generating the energies of mindfulness, peace, stability and compassion in our daily lives. Therefore, I make the promise today to return your love and fulfill this wish by investing every step I take on you with love and tenderness. I am walking not merely on matter, but on spirit. And this is the last of the letters I am going to read. Uh, there are actually a total of 10. And I will read this one, which is the fourth. And uh, wish you well in your practice and in your festive season. your stability, patience, and inclusiveness. Dear Mother Earth, you are this infinitely beautiful blue planet, fragrant, cool, and kind. Your immeasurable patience and endurance makes you a great bodhisattva. Even though we've made many mistakes, you always forgive us. Every time we return to you, you are ready to open your arms and embrace us. Whenever I am unstable, every time I lose touch with myself or am lost in forgetfulness, sadness, hatred or despair, I know I can come back to you. Touching you, I can find refuge. I can reestablish my peace and regain my joy and self-confidence. You love, protect, and nurture 
all of us without discrimination. You have an immense capacity to embrace, handle, and transform everything that is cast at you, whether it be great asteroids, refuse and filth, poisonous fumes, or radioactive waste. Time helps you to do this, and your history has shown that you always succeed, even if it takes millions of years. You were able to reestablish equilibrium after the devastating collision that created the moon, and have endured at least five mass extinctions, reviving yourself every time. You have an extraordinary capacity to renew, transform, and heal yourself, and also us, your children. I have faith in your great power of healing. My faith comes from my own observation and experience, not from something others have told me to believe. That's why I know I can take refuge in you. As I walk, sit, and breathe, I can surrender myself to you, trust wholly in you, and allow you to heal me. I know I don't have to do anything at all. I can simply relax, release all the tension in my body and all the fears and worries in my mind. Whether I'm sitting or walking, lying down or standing, I allow myself to take refuge in you, Mother Earth. Each one of us needs a place of refuge, but we may not know how to find it or how to get there. Looking deeply today, I can see that my true home, my true place of refuge, is you, my beloved planet. I take refuge in you, Mother Earth. I do not have to go anywhere to find you you are already in me, and I am already in you. Dear Mother, each time I sit in stillness on your earth, I will be aware that because you are in me, I can embody your wonderful qualities of solidity, perseverance, patience, and forbearance, of depth, endurance, and stability, of great courage, non-fear, and inexhaustible creativity. I vow to practice wholeheartedly to realize these qualities knowing that you have already sown these potentials as seeds in the soil of my heart and mind. Blessings. Blessings, dear friends.